taken me almost 30 years to get to this point. <laughs> you know, some of you will grow faster than me. But now we're in a marriage relationship. And he's making his bride ready. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Then the last one that I shared up here, I think, <laughs> was that he is on his throne right now praying for us. Amen. Praying for us. And I know you guys are studying, you're going through college, and you're like, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? <clears throat> I, I had like a breakdown or a revelation. Well, you've seen the revelations I had. I'm, I'm military. I was in special forces. I'm a kickboxing champion. I'm, I was a police officer on death row in San Quentin State Prison. I know how to go out and do things. I have no problems with that. In fact, I would find myself doing some things and then say, Lord, put your stamp of approval on this. Because I'm impressing some people here. And it wasn't until he exposed me that I was trying to perform to cover up my own shame. Mm. I was trying to say that I am worthy of your throne. That I get humbled to where in 2009, 2010, people would ask me, Doc and Zena, you know, what are you guys doing in Thailand? I would say, I am doing nothing. I don't know what I'm doing. But I know the one that's going to do something. Amen. Amen. So when I see him doing something, yes. I'm going to ask him, can I join in? Yes. Yes. It's a different mentality. Jesus said, I, didn't do any, I don't do anything unless the Father tells me to do it. I made us human beings. Can we be in him? questions and uh, we can even do some prayer if you want it. I really don't know how to close this. So here. <laughs> <laughs> we all have separate gifts, you know. God uses them all. The Lord really does move in my husband a lot. As you guys can see, he's a passionate man for the Lord and God speaks to him in very, very personal ways. Um, and with that said, you know, just in what you've heard this morning, if you see for yourself that that you're in one of those places in your life before Jesus, that you're at that place where you're like, no, I, God, I like you way up there because then you don't have to come in and see my, my business. Or if you're in that place that you're like, okay, I'll, I'll let you put me on the throne. Now, this feels good. I feel good. But you're not washing my feet because then you get to see the, the stink in my life. You get to see the real in me. Or if you're in that place that you're pretty exposed You've been pretty vulnerable to the Lord, but but the Lord is not at a place to where you feel like, Lord, you're my friend. I could just hang with you and we can talk about things. Or you might be in that place to where you do talk about things, but you're still not going to let, you're going to still keep them just outside enough that you'll never create the son and daughter that looks like him. So if you're any one of those people today, we want to pray for you. We just want to lay our hands on you and pray that God will just confirm in you, affirm in you, give you the deeper revelation of really who he is. Because you're all here getting prepped for something. Amen. And I hope that preparation is for you to know him more. So just come. And the people that are watching, uh, we're going to have people that are going to go around and pray for you guys. Okay?
And if you're, if you, if it's all good with you and the Lord, I mean, you're like, hey, I want to be used. Come and be used. Come help us lay hands on one another and just pray and encourage one another and just bless each other in Jesus' name. This world can be stripped off of us so you can do what you want for some reason.